Colors by Agra and Levitra. Hi, I'm Clarissa from Art Doctor, and I'd like to discuss the differences between the top three best-selling ED medications. The most popular ED treatments on the market are Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. All have so much in common and yet are significantly different in how they work and look. It's common for men to desire medication for ED, but they probably wonder which of these three is the best buy for their needs. The Urology Care Foundation says that about 30 million American men occasionally have difficulty getting or keeping an erection. When ED becomes a problem, many of you will turn to oral ED medication to address the issue. Let us talk a little bit about the history of these medicines. As with many other essential prescription drugs, Sildenafil citrate was initially developed and studied by Pfizer research scientists for purposes unrelated to treating ED. It was hoped that the drug would prove to be a powerful treatment for angina pectoris and intractable high blood pressure. Unfortunately, it failed to impress when clinically tested among patients suffering from those conditions. However, it did have a somewhat curious side effect on male study participants. Those taking sildenafil, including some men diagnosed with ED, suddenly found that they no longer had any difficulty getting and keeping an erection. Pfizer closed its study of the drug as an angina treatment and began looking at it as a revolutionary new drug to treat ED. It debuted on the U.S. market in 1998. For the next five years or so, Viagra enjoyed a monopoly on the market for oral ED drugs. But other pharmaceutical researchers were hard at work trying to develop versions of this revolutionary new treatment for ED. Levitra, the first of these competitors, won FDA approval in September 2003, and Cialis got the nod from that drug regulatory agency two months later in November 2003. What are PDE5 inhibitors and how do they work? PDE5 inhibitors temporarily optimize blood flow in patients whose ED was caused by insufficient blood flow to the penis, the single most significant cause of ED, accounting for up to 80% of all male impotence. A key player in erectile function is a substance called cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP. It triggers the relaxation of the smooth muscle tissue that lines the inner walls of blood vessels that supply the penis. As these vessels relax, the blood flow increases sharply. However, one of the primary functions of the PDE5 enzyme is to break down CGMP. In men with no vascular problems, this poses a little problem as the body quickly produces more CGMP to take its place. However, in men whose vascular health is compromised, the PDE5 enzyme kills off CGMP faster than it can be replaced, thus sabotaging erectile function. This can manifest itself in an inability to get an erection or failure to maintain an erection long enough to finish a sexual encounter. Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra all work in similar ways. However, there are some key differences such as when taken, how long they work, and their side effects. They also boost a chemical needed in your body called nitric oxide. This action helps the penis muscles to relax. Relaxed muscles permit blood flow to get an erection during arousal. It also helps you maintain the erection for enough time to have sex. All of these medications belong to the family known as PDE5 inhibitors. It's called this because they all temporarily sideline an enzyme known as phosphodiesterase 5 which can interfere with blood flow to the penis. Other brand name members of this exclusive family include Levitra, Staxin, and Sendra. So which one should you try? This question is prevalent among men who visit their urologist's office or vitality clinics. So Denifil has a half-life of four hours, Vardenafil has a half-life of four to six hours, and Tadalafil has a half-life of 17.5 hours, meaning that Vardenafil or Levitra should act longer in your system than Viagra, but some men may disagree. Viagra can take 30 minutes or up to one hour to work in the body, while Levitra can take up to one hour. Cialis is also faster acting than Levitra by almost 20 to 30 minutes, which can depend on your weight and other medicines you are taking. You should take Cialis 30 minutes before sexual activity, giving it time to dissolve in your bloodstream while taking Levitra at least one hour before sex. Cialis and Levitra have similar side effects, but there are some distinctive characteristics of the drug's effectiveness. Cialis has an advantage over Viagra and Levitra in that it lasts for a lot longer period of 36 hours compared to four to five hours with Viagra and Levitra. However, Cialis can cause limb pain, while Viagra can cause vision change, rash, and dizziness. The generic for Cialis called Tadalafil was approved in May 2018 and was released into the marketplace around September 2018. 
Viagra is a deep blue tablet that comes in the shape of a stylized diamond. It is available in varying doses, including 25, 50, and 100 milligrams, all of which drinks carry roughly the same price tag per pill. Many may find that a 25 or 50 milligram dose works well for them. So they buy 100 milligram tablets and split them into two or four, depending on which dosage strength works best for them. The same medication in the generic form was developed by a company called Greenstone, a Pfizer company. The pill's only difference is its white color instead of blue, which is also diamond in shape. For comparison purposes, a single 100 milligram tablet of the little blue pill sells for $95 at edrugstore.com or your local walk-in pharmacy, where the generic is closer to $15 per tablet. Our doctor recommends if you use an online service, you should consider eDrugstore as they've been around for over 20 years and is a pioneer in the online telemedicine space that sells all brand name ED medications, as well as a handful of other lifestyle drugs. Cialis, on the other hand, comes in two different formulations and is also prescribed to treat enlarged prostate, one of which is considered an on-demand drug comparable to Viagra and another that must be taken daily to allow for sexual activity whenever the need might occur. For the purposes of this comparison with Viagra, all future references to Cialis will be on demand or taken as needed. Cialis in its more extensive forms are available in either 10 or 20 milligram tablets, which are elliptical or teardrop in shape and yellow in color. Its active ingredient is Tadalafil, and the generic form is produced by several pharmaceutical giants like Teva, Accord, and Ascend, and can come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. But the formula is the same. I don't recommend the compounded versions or trochies because the generics are just as cheap. Cost-wise, a 20 milligram tablet of Cialis comes with a price tag of around $94 per tablet and is nearly identical in price to 100 milligram of Viagra at 20 milligrams of Levitra. This is not cheap, so do consider the generic versions as they work just as well. If your doctor has written you the prescription for the brand, have your pharmacist attempt to alter the script to the generic to put that hard-earned money back in your pocket. As mentioned briefly earlier, the primary differences between Viagra, Levitra, and Cialis are in onset and duration of action. According to Healthline.com, both Viagra and Cialis usually take effect within 30 to 60 minutes. However, anecdotal reports indicate that Cialis is usually somewhat faster acting. Where the three ED drugs differ most dramatically is the duration of action. The effect the effects of Viagra and Levitra typically wear off after six hours at the most, while the effects of Cialis can work up to 36 hours. All three of these medications can be taken with or without food, although Viagra and Levitra users had reported a delayed onset of action when the pill was taken after a meal high in fat, which apparently slows the absorption of the drug. But which one is best for you? It depends on the person. While all erectile dysfunction treatments help achieve the same goal, some differences are in the dose required, length of effects, and potential side effects. Consider these options when determining which ED medication might work best for you. Here are the key points to consider when deciding between Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Viagra has a four to six window of time during which a man should be able to get and keep an erection suitable for intercourse. The effects of Cialis can last for up to 36 hours. Your erection will not be there the entire time, but just during sexual stimulation. A 100 milligram tablet of Viagra can be split into four 25 milligram doses or two 50 milligram doses, depending on the strength